right guys for today's video i'm just gonna go over my duramax because in the past month or two i've gained a good bit of subscribers and i don't know if you guys actually went through my playlist of this duramax build a lot of you guys might be new so if you're new to this channel i highly encourage you to go back and just watch my duramax build from the day one i bought this truck completely stock about um in january and then uh, I, I did a lot of stuff to it, so go check it out. I would say it was pretty freaking ugly when I first got it. And as I was driving home, I was like, why did I buy this truck? I was pretty disappointed because, <clears throat> I don't know, it was kind of ugly. Anyway, uh, let me go over this build list. First things first, headlights. They are made by Spider, And I put the uh, color shift halos and the demon eyes in there. Um, and if you haven't seen it already, I made a how-to video, so go check that out. Uh, and as a lot of you guys have, a lot of you guys have asked me to uh, like go over the headlights, so I'll do that at the end of the video. Uh, let's see. Next thing is 22-inch Cree LED light bar. I still need to finish the uh, how-to video. Uh, I made these custom brackets. I mean, it's not that hard. I'll I'll uh, make a video on it soon. LEDs for my fog lights and then I have LEDs in here uh, Except for that one. I do need to get new LEDs here because um, that one's flickering Plasti dip this Plasti dip the whole grill. I got to redo it because it's as you can see it's peeling but I mean I had like half of a can left so That I mean normally I would use like one whole can or maybe two cans but I think it I mean, I just did that to see what it would look like, and I just got too lazy to redo it. So, I think it looks pretty good, though. So, I'm going to have to redo, re -plasty dip the grill. And then, let's go with uh, the lift kit. A lot of you, uh, if you guys didn't know already, I have a Mugoy 7-inch lift kit. When I first got this lift kit, I was actually planning on setting it at 9 inches. But in order to do that, I have to crank up the torsion bars... And then it'll be like maxed out. But I can set it at 9 inches. So right now what I might do is. Um, if I do want to set it at 9 inches. I think I'm going to get Fox Reservoir shocks. Or dual shocks. And then set it at 9 inches. And then I'm going to have to get a. I'm going to have to uh, get Adelaide in the rear. So that way truck can sit completely level. Because if I don't do anything to the back. It'll squat. And I don't want it to squat. Because I'm not from the Carolinas. And then I went with the Zone HD upper control arms. And I have the PPE HD tie rods. And I do have a uh, Bilstein stabilizer. That was the uh, Bilstein steering stabilizer. And then the tires are the 37 by 1350 Cooper Discoverer, uh, Cooper STT Pro. And then I have 20 by 12 Moto Metal 962s. Uh, I am planning on getting some 20 by 14s pretty soon, as soon as I get the whole front end uh, rebuilt. But before I even rebuild the front, I'm going to have to do uh, delete and tune the truck. McGoys. And I definitely want to get the new style tow mirrors. I had them on my old truck, and I, and I absolutely loved them on my old truck. The visibility is so much better with the new style tow mirrors. Uh, than these because these are kind of round but the new ones are like more square so that, it's weird you can see there's like new ones have better visibility i don't know how to explain it you just gotta see it and then i don't know if you guys saw it but dalton just did a uh, color match the new style tow mirrors for his duramax and it looks amazing so i gotta get new tow mirrors soon all right In the back, I have a block, uh, and then McGoy's shocks. I was messing around at dealer options. I was asking them if they had any Fox shock stickers laying around because I was going to put Fox shock sticker on my uh, McGoy's uh, shocks. And then the back, I have all these stickers that adds about 5 horsepower, 15, 5. And then I have the spider tail lights. These are pretty cool. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. 
the spider headlights i think i paid like 120 for them look pretty good it's the new style uh the c-shaped so that's what all the new style gmc with like 2017 and 2016 sierras everybody needs to go tell mike that he needs to get these tail lights and not those ugly ass whatever those rounded ones because i honestly think these look 10 times better than stock and 10 times 100 times better than what mike has and yes i know i still haven't fixed this little uh paint chip and all this crap uh what had happened was when i debatched it i think what they did was they left the, uh, the original owner or the previous owner they left the gmc emblem and then resprayed the bed so when i debatched it you know it looks terrible and my truck is dirty as hell i'm i'm about to clean it um after this video maybe tomorrow all right exhaust five inch straight pipe diamond eye exhaust and i have a eight inch tip it's a no name because i i didn't really see the point of spending 60 uh 60 dollars 70 dollars or like 80 dollars just to get a freaking tip that says mbrp on it because no one's gonna see the logo and i don't really care too much i don't care too much about the tip because they all sound the same so who cares i, was, I paid like 30 40 bucks for those and i think what we're gonna do is ernie doesn't have exhaust tip so i was talking to connor i think i might buy like an eight inch tip and we're gonna put it on his we're gonna put it on ernie's truck ernie's duramax the um the blue duramax that's the same body style as mine i think we're gonna put the tip on it and see if he'll notice like we're gonna see we're gonna go see how long he'll go without noticing so let me show you guys my headlights because a lot a lot of you guys have been asking me all right so the sensor is right there don't worry, I'm going to extend the sensor. I'm going to make it somehow. I'm going to make it where the sensor goes inside the cab. So that way I can change the colors uh, from the inside of the truck. But let me show you guys how this works. So this is white, blue, green, red. And it has like all these colors, like purple. I generally drive around with purple because it's October uh, Breast Cancer Awareness. And if I do get pulled over, I can tell the police officer hey it's breast cancer awareness month uh that's why i'm running purple yellow and then i can do flash and then this is smooth whatever that means i feel like this is strobe but whatever wait flash strobe fade smooth so I feel like smooth and flash is the same thing. Anyway, green, red. I love red. Red looks really good. But I'm gonna turn it off for now. Anyway, my demon eyes. So let me know in the comments below of what you guys think of my truck. Did you guys like this video? I don't think I've ever really done a walk around video of my duramax so here it is uh oh yeah one thing i forgot to mention is uh as you guys can see this tire sticks out more than the back yes i still haven't put the freaking wheel spacers on because uh i have to trim the uh the studs and i haven't really dedicated a time to do it and to me it's just really hard to do it at my house because i don't have uh my driveway is you know slanted so i can't i'm just i don't feel like i don't, I don't think that's very safe and the air compressor will not reach the end of the driveway where it's kind of flat so i've just been waiting to either take it to dealer options or uh go over to my friend's house and do it but i don't know i'll do it eventually and i know the truck's gonna look amazing with the wheel spacers in the back but 
just haven't been on my priority list but that is it for today's video oh yeah i do have two tens under the seats but i can't show you guys right now because i have a lot of crap in the back seat so uh that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked my tail lights better than mike's please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time bye all right i'm actually going to end this video with my exhaust